This is the third video in our educational series, and in this video, we are going to start covering the harmful effects of EMF or RF radiation. The first harmful effect that we are going to cover is cancer through oxidative stress. And remember, this is a non-ionizing, non-thermal harmful effect. So first, we're going to go into how radio frequencies or RF energy can cause oxidative stress, and then how oxidative stress can cause cancer. At any point in this video, you like this content, please hit that like or subscribe button. Okay, let's dive right in. Hello and welcome. My name is Ford Bidding, the founder of 3Oxygen, which is a company that makes EMF blocking apparel. Right now, we actually only offer a men and boys line of underwear. We think this is the most pressing need of the market given the location of where most men and boys store their phone, which is in their front pocket next to a very sensitive area. So again, the first harmful effect we are going to cover is cancer and oxidative stress. This is actually the most widely studied non-thermal effect of RF radiation. Although the RF energy or radiation your cell phone and laptops emit may not directly cause cancer, it is a myth that it cannot indirectly lead to cancer. There are a growing number of studies, two of which are on my website, providing evidence that cellular damage caused by your cell phone or laptop may indirectly lead to cancer. And the main indirect effect caused by RF energy is oxidative stress. RF energy and exposure to it, long-term exposure to it, can cause free radicals. Free radicals can cause oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can cause cancer. So let's go into a little more detail about how all that links up and what is happening inside your body biologically. The non-ionizing radiation that cell phones and laptop emit is called RF energy or radiation. This RF energy does not have enough radiation to cause damage to a cell in the most traditional and widely accepted way known as ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation is when there is enough energy in that wavelength that it can knock off that valence electron causing the entire atom to become unstable and therefore changing your cells at a molecular level. This is one way you can get skin cancer from the sun or an x-ray machine. We know this to be dangerous. Okay, now store that little bit of information for later. In your body, there's a balance of free radicals and antioxidants. Free radicals are what kill damaged cells in order for new ones to replace them and antioxidants are what kill free radicals. For some of us, this RF energy that is admitted by your cell phone and laptop is enough to trigger the creation of these free radicals. However, as stated above, it's not enough to actually damage any cells. So what is happening in your body if all these free radicals are being created, but there are no damaged cells to kill and attack? Well, at first, nothing, because there actually are more antioxidants in your body than free radicals. But with more and more exposure over time, more and more free radicals are created and the scale becomes unbalanced. Now there are more free radicals than antioxidants. And again, as we stated above, there are no damaged cells for the free radicals to attack. So they actually begin to attack healthy cells. Now this is what oxidative stress is. And we know that oxidative stress can lead to cancer. So that is the link. The question now becomes, is keeping your phone in your front pocket for hours a day for decades enough exposure to trigger this oxidative stress in your body that could one day lead to cancer? For some of us, the answer is no. But for some of us, the answer could be yes. Everyone's body is different. People smoke all their lives and don't get lung cancer. People go out in the sun and don't put sunscreen on and don't get skin cancer. Everyone's different especially when you're talking about a child, because the development stage that their body is in, they're actually more susceptible for this type of RF radiation. Well, when will we know if your cell phone can cause oxidative stress in you or your loved one's body? Well, right now, unbeknownst to you or your family, you're actually participating in that experiment right now to answer that question. The current studies showing RF energy can lead to oxidative stress were based on an RF energy that is 20 times less than what 5G will be. So buy my underwear. Don't be a lab rat. 
protect the family jewels. In closing, we just want to be clear that 3Oxygen is not against technology. We love and support technology and the advancements that it has brought us and will bring us in the future. You simply cannot measure the amount of good that a cell phone and a laptop have brought to us. Unfortunately, there is a small cost with all of that good and we protect you from that cost. We want you to enjoy all the benefits of these awesome tools without having to worry about any of the side effects. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you like the content in this video, hit that like or subscribe button. Good talk and we'll see you next time.